This is the 1849 OS Town Plan of Edinburgh. It shows in Edinburgh that it's halfway to being the familiar city we see today, with lots of modern features, but also with a lot that has changed. Today, I thought we'd go on a tour of the Edinburgh of 1849, showing out of things that have disappeared and their modern sites today. And we start with the meadows. Now we are here in the meadows, and the meadows has lots of facilities for sports. But in 1849, the meadows, just round about here-ish, had a collection of curling ponds. So during the winter, when the curling ponds are frozen over, you can go and play a little bit of curling. Now, we are on the east side of the meadows, and the meadows being quite an extensive park, it's quite hard to imagine there being any sort of industry here. Well, believe it or not, behind me was the gate of Burrowloch Brewery. Now, you're probably wondering why the brewery is called the Burrowloch Brewery. Well, that's actually got a very good story behind it. At one point, the meadows used to be a loch called the Burrowloch, and the Burrowloch used to be Edinburgh's water supply in opposition to the Norloch, now Prince Street Gardens, which was basically at one point Edinburgh's cesspool. Now we are on Forest Road and behind me was Edinburgh's poorhouse. Now you're probably asking yourself, hang on a second Abby, what side of Forest Road was the poorhouse on? The answer was both of them. Edinburgh's poorhouse had two wings, a west wing and an east wing, and they were both separated by Forest Road. Now we are currently in Charlotte Square and in 1849 Charlotte Square wasn't actually a square. The brass bit behind me, which is looking a little bit sorry right now, was actually shaped in a circle with a sort of hurricane shaped path system. Another thing that you've probably noticed from 1849 was the statue behind me wasn't there. Behind me is the Albert Memorial built to commemorate Prince Albert who died in 1861. Now we are currently in Cannon Mills at the Tesco, but obviously Tesco in 1849 didn't exist. Instead, this was the rally workshop for the Edinburgh, Perth and Dundee Railway. Now the Edinburgh, Perth and Dundee Railway isn't particularly well known, but it does have one major legacy. Just down there is the infamous or famous, depending on your perspective, Scotland Street Tunnel. Now, we are currently in the Botanic Gardens, and in 1849, you probably would have noticed something. The Botanic Gardens was about half the size it is today. The eastern side of the garden, over that way, was the Royal Botanic Garden, but this here, the western side of the garden, was the grounds of Inverleaf House, which is behind me. Now, here's the thing about Inverleaf House. Inverleaf House actually did have quite an impressive garden. I am standing round right about where it was. Sadly, it is now just a lawn, but you can still see it on the 1849 town plan. Okay, so now we are on the Water of Leaf, on the Falshaw Bridge, near Stock Bridge. Now, the Falshaw Bridge was built in 1877. However, it replaced something quite charming, a set of stepping stones, which appear on the 1849 plan. 